All right, everybody. <clears throat> so we're going to be working with Pixie.js, which is um, a new library for us. Um, but it's a different way for us to put things on the screen and animate them. And it's geared towards making games rather than like websites, like the default <clears throat> API that we have exposed to us from JavaScript with this document and elements and all this stuff. So you're going to want to go here. Go away. And you'll hit the fork button once you're here. And this will give you your own copy. I already have a copy though, so I will just start with that. Okay, so when we run this, all that we have is a black screen, so let's put some nice stuff on it. So let's make a new directory called images. And let's make, and you can make whatever you want. I'm going to make a very small gradient. So now to put that on the screen, we need to make a sprite. Bless you, kitty. And we need to add it to the stage. <clears throat> It's very small. Cool. <clears throat> so, what we have here is a Pixie.js application with its width and height in pixels, 256, 256. And we made a sprite with this image of this size, 256 by 256. So if we do 128, 128, we should expect it to be up here. See? It only covers half the space, and it still starts at zero, zero. So now we put this there. Now it's down here. X, <clears throat> it's just like you've learned in math class, right? There's an X axis from left to right. Zero is over here. And 256 is over here, because that's what we said. 
the y-axis is over here, up here is 0, and down here is 256. So I like this like this, because then it's more like a background. Cool. And I'm going to make a function for that. Away, kitty. Cool, still works. <clears throat> so, let's add another sprite. And again, please use whatever tool you want. You can download them anywhere you just have, or download images. If you know of a good tool that's free online for other people to use, please post it. Go away, small kitty. And you want to do as PNG if you want transparency. If you pick like, <clears throat> if you pick like JPEG or GIF or BMP, you won't have transparency, and that's what we want so that our background shows through our little character. Oops, don't think that worked. Oh man. Okay, so let's make a little character. Now he's up there. Okay, it's great. <clears throat> so we have a character on the screen, and it's a sprite, uh, but nothing very interesting is happening right now. So let's make it like 2% more interesting. So this app is something from Pixie.js, and it has this stage, which is like the container. It's kind of like the document that we used before, except now instead of adding elements, we're adding sprites to it. The app from Pixie.js also has this thing called ticker, and this ticker will run the function we give it uh, 60 times a second. So what we can do check 60 times a second 
if the right arrow key is down, and if it is, we're going to move the character to the right by two pixels every single frame. See, it's pretty great. So let's make it so that the little guy can come back. Do the left arrow. Pretty good. And let's say So now, every frame, if the space key is down, will grow the character. Pretty good. Pretty good. Kind of awesome. Okay. <clears throat> so the thing I don't really like about this is if you watch, when he grows, he doesn't grow from the center. He grows from the top left. So let's change that. And the way you change that, I think we need to say something about anchor. Yeah. So by default, anchor is zero zero, which is the top left, as we know. When it's 0 0.5, 0 0.5, it's going to be in the center. 1, 1 will be at the bottom right of the sprite. <clears throat> so let's see what happens now. He's kind of cut off, so let's move him down. Put him at the center. Let's put his X at the center too. It's pretty good. Okay, that's cool. <clears throat> so the other thing I want to do is play a little sound. And what we'll do is every time you push the space key, we'll play. Well, first we need to load the sound. So the way we load the sound is similar to this thing down here. good. <clears throat> okay, so that is how you would make a very, very simple thing with, uh, with Pixie that plays sound and displays sprites and moves them using the keyboard. <laughs>